Hey guys, I'm going to let you know I still have some bundles left over. If you want your bundle today, hit me up on any of the social links down below for more information. Hey guys, it's Vess and we're back with another speed art. So today I will be working on um, basically a fan art of Beauty and the Beast. And no, I did not see the movie. So it's good that I didn't see the movie because, you know, I am a spoil. <laughs> I spoil things like I don't know how to uh, not spoil things so it's a good thing that um i was able to go ahead and not watch it and do this beautiful uh fan art that i decided to do um honestly speaking this piece took me about almost eight hours to do and it, it was a full day of just me drawing it um i actually loved the way it came out um it was pretty much easy to uh, figure out what i wanted because my thoughts of it was like, um, I wanted the beast to be the beast so I can practice on my beast and, uh, you know, have Belle look as beautiful as she can. And, um, you know, I was just going off with how I felt about beauty and the beast. Uh, I know a lot of, well, I know one of, uh, our pulses loves, uh, you know, Disney movies and stuff like that. So this will straight up be up their alley because, uh, they love beauty and the beast and, um, you know hopefully they like it <laughs> so um yeah i was like let me do beauty and the beast and on top of that help me free up some time of uh recording and stuff like that because i was doing tutorial after tutorial after tutorial so i'm basically getting worn out from that so i'm trying to think of different alternatives to uh you know figure out what i want to do for sunday videos so if you guys have any ideas like what you want to see more of or anything let me know in the comments below because i would love to hear what you guys would like to see more like uh i've been doing too much tutorials and i feel like i'm getting a little bit tired so um yeah i'm doing that uh good news i am still working on social posts i finished a page yesterday not not yesterday let me think yeah yesterday i finished uh i finished um yeah i finished the page yesterday well it won't be yesterday you guys because right now it's wednesday <laughs> but let's see um i finished it on monday so i was pretty much satisfied with it and um i went ahead and i was like just for me to get freed up in celestial post let me do like a random fan art and i felt that beauty and the beast is the best one because um nobody really i don't think anybody makes disney characters anime-ish so it was kind of cool to figure that out on my own like figure out what i want to do with her and stuff like that um i seen a lot of people try to execute it and it was good it looks really good so um i was like okay cool let me try to do it with my five my style my way um so yeah that's basically what i've been you know thinking about and stuff like that um i also wanted to do like a little bit of uh the aura type of tutorial that i went over with you guys last sunday i wanted to try it on this piece too because um i just wanted to have that nice glow feature and especially with the flower that glows um i wanted to add that type of feature in it um it was pretty much easy coming up with the beast like figuring out his stuff and trying to make him more anime-ish um i did look at some references i actually looked at furry references of like animated furries and stuff like that so i i got an idea of what uh, animal's eyes are supposed to look like and stuff like that so you know it was pretty much uh it was pretty much solid of how to figure it out and then on top of that all the other stuff from blue mage and stuff like that how he was uh you know giving me so much animals to do in the commission that actually helped with trying to figure out how i want to make the beast look um so yeah that was basically it for that guys no lie um being that this piece took so long to make the commission itself is long it's like 22 minutes worth of video i would say because it was like so much detail and it was so much detail with the beast itself and um you know i cannot stray away from detail like um i was telling my husband about it and i was like oh, yeah uh you're gonna have to leave me alone for 30 minutes because you know, uh, I have to uh, voice over this whole entire thing and it's like almost, you know, 23 minutes. And he's like, well, I'll give you a half an hour then. I'm like, dang, how am I gonna sit here and talk for a good 30 minutes? It's just crazy. Uh, I was talking to Momoko and she was like, oh yeah, 
Uh, I thought one of your voiceovers for your speed arts was a stream because you talk on your speed arts and usually people don't do that. You know, she only knew one person that did it was, I think her name is Jelly B or something like that. Um, yeah, and I watched her videos here and there and I do like her like Copic markers type of techniques and stuff like that. So definitely, uh, I did learn to talk over my uh, speed arts from her and, uh, you know, I'm not trying to rely too much on music. I did want to, but I'm not trying to do it and, um, you know, mess up what I have. Like I have a good standing right now. And every time I do put music in my stuff, I always get copyright strikes. Even if it's like non-copyrighted music, it still happens. And, uh, I did watch a video not so long ago by Vex and he was saying that the people that say is non-copyrighted is actually um, doing that so they can receive money from other YouTubers so yeah I'm not trying to do that type of stuff I did a little bit of research so yeah Vex is not doing that <laughs> um, again guys um, I just want to keep you keep you guys reminded until you know we are used to me doing this but uh, yeah every Fridays at 7 p.m. I am streaming here um, Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys want to be into it, uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, make, I guess, make time or, <laughs> uh, try to stop by and say hello and stuff like that. Um, this last stream, I was working on everybody else's OC and then putting them together in one cool little, um, sketch stuff. And then what they're going to do is they're going to color their own characters. So, um, that's basically what I'm doing now. Um, what I, what well, I'm going to do next stream is uh, finish off Fuji and add the other two people that weren't there. Like, um, I think Timothy and uh, Elijah, no, not Elijah, Timothy and someone else wasn't able to put their characters in. So if they get in early enough, I can go ahead and add them. But if not, you know, they can't be added in. But um, yeah, so if you want to be like part of the collabs and stuff that I do on my streams like that, you know, stuff like that that I do on my streams. Be sure to, you know, come stop by and say hello and stuff like that. Because I have, no lie, I have about like almost 250 pulses, <laughs> I would say. So, yeah, guys, definitely show up. I would love to hear from you guys. It's just, you know, I try to make as much time as I can. I do love streaming. Um, I don't know. Like, what do you guys feel about it? Let me know in the comments below. It'd be perfect to like hear what you guys have to say and stuff like that. And I know I'm mumbling and stuff because right now what I'm doing is I'm just talking over this line work and stuff that I was doing and just, you know, whatever it, <laughs> well, you know, try to figure out, uh, you know, talk when it's coloring process, I guess. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know in the comments below, um, about, you know, anything <laughs> anything that you want to talk about i do answer back i'm not one of those youtubers that don't answer back and i do heart things when it's, it's heart needed <laughs> i love hearing from you guys um so yeah definitely oh yeah right here um uh, guys i don't know if you noticed uh i don't i know i noticed it i know that my sister noticed it and then when i told my husband about it he was like yeah best it does look like that so yeah, I made the beast. So mind you, the beast has three fingers, right? Vest didn't pay attention to that. Vest just went ahead and she did the five finger thing because that's what I love to do. I love to do my five fingers. So I made the beast and I was, you know, kind of struggling with his hands because his hands are like fat sausages. So I was trying <laughs> to do it. And um, it turns out that his left hand, he's like, f you know, giving us the middle finger. <laughs> He basically is giving us the middle finger. So I try to cover it up with Belle's hair because he was supposed to be twirling her hair in his thumbs. I mean, his fingers. Wow, thumbs. In his fingers. So yeah, he is flipping us off. So my sister was like, this is funny. You know, you should put Gaston in the in the background 
and he could just be flipping him off. And I was like, look it, it's not supposed to be a flip off. It's supposed to be him messing with her hair. So I didn't expect that to happen. So if you guys feel like you're getting flipped off by this beautiful piece of art, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I'm completely sorry for that. I didn't expect it to happen that way, but it did. And, uh, you know, I try to cover it up with as much hair as I can. So, yeah, let's... I'm just going to keep them flipping people off, I guess. <laughs> um, I did have my references. If you can see on my left-hand side, I did have my, my references. And I did use two different type of coloring techniques with them. Like, um, I had two photos of Belle and two photos of the Beast. And um, what I did was I mixed and matched the colors. So, um, like for the lips and stuff like that, I used one picture. For the dress and stuff like that, I used another picture. For the hair, I used one picture. You know, I just was like alternating and then um i did change up the colors here and there so that it can match up better with what i thought felt good so yeah that's what i did for the coloring and um you know i did play a lot with uh like textures and stuff like that because of the beast because the beast is supposed to be furry so i used my um my fur technique on him and stuff like that um I, I I don't even understand how long I didn't understand how long it took because I was like these are two characters why did it take so long but I know it took long because of the beast um he was the one that took the most time uh it was just it was just meant to happen to take up the most time I guess um yeah so I pretty much made it as good as possible now for Belle's skin um I know she's light skinned but what I what I did um was add a little tint of like darkness to her skin just so that she can you know blend more with her outfit because if you look at one picture she looks like she blends with her outfit like she's almost that orangey color and then in the other picture she's just solid you know light skinned and i'm like okay she's not pale because in the beauty and the beast clip that i have right here she's not pale there but when i switch over to the other one she is so it's like you know, it's kind of like, what? That was, it was just weird. Um, for the veil, what I did was I did um, I did it on a different layer because I had some plans with that. And um, I seen a couple of Beauty and the Beast dresses that um, was done in Beauty and the Beast world. Like, the actual people from Disney made the dress look like that. So there was, like, some that had, like, these rose patterns on the bottom and stuff like that. And that's what I kind of wanted, but at the same time, I was like, nah, let me stay true to it. So what I did was for the veil part, I made it like the way that they did it for like the rose pattern. And, um, I just made it like translucent or transparent almost <laughs> like you could see through the, the fabric itself. And then I added like a uh, glitter and stuff like that so that it can just pop better and make it look, you know, make it look majestic <laughs> give it that Ooh, that's nice feel <laughs> so yeah i definitely did that um and then what else i did was uh you know add the shades and shadows i did add extra darkness and stuff like that and you know played with those colors so that it could just make it pop a lot more so yeah this is why it took me so many hours to do it because i was busy you know doing x y and z for the piece so it can look good uh i did do a booboo though like um i usually put my solid base colors on one layer my shade color on one layer and my light colors on one layer but what happened was i was so like mixed up with the base colors that when i went ahead and i tried to shade the color i was stuck on my base color layer and not knowing and um you know messed it up so you know, it, it kind of got a little bit messed up, but it was all right. It wasn't like a big deal or anything like that. So I'm pretty much happy with the way, you know, the way it came out, even though I had like a little bit of difficulties here and there. So, you know, it worked out. It worked out for me. <laughs> um, what I did want to talk about is um, sooner or later, I'm going to try to get a pop filter because I noticed that in my videos, you will hear that kick, 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 kick sound. It's like a real staticky type of um a staticky type of thing and i heard that it's from my p's and my s's so um and t's i think so yeah what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get a pop filter soon and i'm going to uh 
add that so that you know that doesn't happen anymore and you guys don't bust the eardrum if you're hearing me and uh, <laughs> hear me on headphones because that sucks if you know that's happening and um i'm probably gonna get a mic stand too so that it can take that away and then also maybe something that takes away the ambient noise that's around my house because my house tends to get noisy um especially that i have my my brothers and my sisters living with me so you know they're younger than me so they run around and scream and do extra <laughs> extra things that i wish they didn't do but they do and um you know i need to get something to you know cut off that noise um i'm not i don't know how to sound pro for my room that i usually do this stuff in um, I have a little bit of an idea, but I have a window in this room, so it's like, I don't know if that will work. <laughs> so, you know, there's a lot of things that come into play when I, um, you know, when I'm doing these type of recordings, but I'm trying to make it as best as I can for you guys, especially when I'm doing like voiceovers and stuff like that, you know, um, I don't want it to be like, oh my God, what is that sound in the back? <laughs> or, oh my goodness, my ears are about to break or anything like that, you know? trying to give you guys the best experience that you guys can have so yeah um that's basically <laughs> basically what i'm doing um if you guys been on my instagram i do uh i do post my ridiculousness on there <laughs> like if i'm running errands or stuff like that and i'm usually on there so yeah guys be sure to follow my instagram because i i'm usually showing things or showing you what i'm doing or working on and it's stuff that i don't put on twitter or Facebook or anything like that. So yeah, definitely if you have Instagram, be sure to, you know, check me out. Um, the name is Celestial Post on there. So it's Celestial underscore post. And I will be there, you know, doing my thing. Um, I usually post a lot of Celestial Post stuff. And sometimes I post like um, videos that I'm doing or just me being silly in general. So, <laughs> and then I also do... Um, I don't do live because my phone doesn't do live, I guess, but, um, I do, um, the stories. So usually when I'm doing the stories, I'm usually live because <laughs> I'm bored or I'm doing something and I'm, you know, basically going off task or trying to make something free up my blah moods. Cause that's usually what happens most of the time. It happened to me Monday. And then I remember Yuki was streaming and I was like, I feel like blah. She's like, Oh, you want to talk about it and I was like no I, I finished working on my you know my comic page but right now I'm not like I'm not too happy because I was working all day so I'm basically a little bit tired so she's like oh okay I get it <laughs> so yeah it was basically like that um guys I just noticed right um for Beauty and the Beast I didn't know that the prince's eyes were blue <laughs> I don't know who else thought it was, you know, whoever, whoever watched this movie thought, you know, his eyes were a different color. I thought his eyes were brown, like, honestly speaking, just like Belle. I thought he looked just like Belle, because, um, I watched this when I was younger. I didn't watch it any, any time recently. So, um, the whole time I was thinking, oh, his eyes are brown, his eyes are brown. But then when I looked at him in this suit, because, you know, the Beast wears a suit, I'm like, why is he wearing so much blue? Because I know that you know, when you wear certain colors, it contrasts off your eyes. Like sometimes uh, a lot of things with like Disney and stuff like that, they like to make their colors where it matches the character perfectly. So I was like, okay, he's wearing so much blue and Belle is wearing gold and he has like gold trim. So I look at Belle's eyes. Belle's eyes are like almost hazel guys. Like <laughs> I thought they were brown, but they're like almost hazel. And then his eyes are blue. And I was like, Oh my God, that makes absolutely a lot of sense because if you come to look at it, the blue does help with make making his beastly looks like it, it it metals it out. Like imagine if his eyes were brown or red or something, <laughs> he would look so demonic. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, oh, I didn't notice that. So I told my husband about it and he started laughing at me and I was like, it's not funny. Like I thought his eyes were blue the whole time. I thought they were brown the whole time. I didn't even know they were blue. So yeah, I, I noticed that. And then I noticed that his little his little bow in the back of his hair is a different color from <laughs> the suit. Like, why they did that? <laughs> so yeah, I've been... This boggled me so bad. I was like, are you serious? 
<laughs> like they really they really put some thought into this like really did yeah look at guys you can see the flipping off like he looks like he's flipping us off like this is so bad i was trying to change it you know i even put the finger in the front like the the other finger in the front but it just didn't it didn't help it but he's supposed to be moving his fingers you know and i was looking at my own hands because um, when I don't have references on deck, I use my own ap appendages or whatever you want to call them, <laughs> my own body parts. And I try to like figure it out so that it can look right. So yeah, like I, I think I messed up. <laughs> but it's all good, you know, I'm going to keep it that way. We could just say he's flipping off Gaston if you really want to put it that way. <laughs> um, So yeah, basically it, that was just like, that was just how bad it came out but it's okay you know the picture is beautiful in itself so i'm not too worried um i did play around with uh adding some light textures onto his skin too well his skin or his fur you could call his fur <laughs> um and you know just hitting that off he came out looking pretty decent like i, I like the way he did come out like he did came out or whatever <laughs> my English is not good right now. I think it's because I've been talking for 20 minutes. So yeah, we're about to be almost done with this piece. Um, I did add her some, I add blushies to her face because she is in love with the beast. So why not, right? <laughs> I added that, and then um, you know, I added the flow of the roses because the roses was really what wanted. You know, I really wanted to draw this piece because of the rose itself. So um. You know, I added extra details to the rose and I added the rose going in like a counterclockwise way. And it made me think of time in itself when the roses were going around. And then on top of that, the petals, because you know, the days are, are passing by and you know, he hasn't found love in his life. So of course the rose will be shedding. <laughs> so yeah, I added that. And um, I did add um, the, uh, what'd you call that? I did give it those, those little dots. Like if you see right now on my left hand side, the reference, you can see those little dots and those dots are like, uh, every time the petals will fall, those dots will come, come by on onto the rose. So, you know, it's a magical rose is going to have magical stuff going on. And that's what I did and just, you know, added it. Um, I made the beast for every buff. Because he's a beast, why not, right? <laughs> if I was showing his abs, I bet everybody would be here. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> yeah, so that's basically what what I did for him. Um, it was it was pretty it was a it was a good thing. It was a good thing. I'm I want to see the movie. I'm waiting for it to come out in the dollar theater. Yes, guys, I'm cheap. I like to go to the dollar theater. If you have six people you have to take care of. And you want to go to the movies with those six people, you need to go to the dollar theater so that it can be, it, it's not really a dollar to get into the movies. It's like three or four dollars, but it's, it's a good price for me to take me, my husband and all the other people. <laughs> so yeah, definitely we're, we're thinking about going to see it in the dollar theater. And if I do end up seeing it and I want to make another piece, um, I might make another piece. You guys let me know. Do you want to see another piece? You know, um, I don't know. Let, let me know do you want to see another piece if I do go see the movies to see how my interpretation will be now you know after or whatever you know um, this is what I thought of it now because I did see the movie so maybe my thoughts will change because I'm older and I will see it in live action or whatever um yeah so it's basically up to you guys if you want to see it or not um after I was done with this piece I did my signature put it the date and everything and i added some like more light to the rose itself and this is how it came out and it looks really beautiful i love the way it came out um is you know it's to die for <laughs> before i forget i want to let you guys see some of the social post fan art that i received so yeah i'm not going to say any names or anything like that but you guys will um basically be seeing a slideshow right now of uh, all the um speak you know all the the celestial post fan art that i just received and um you know just take a look at it take a look at them i'm gonna have their links down below and stuff like that if you want to check these artists out um if you guys like this video hit this like hit the like not dislike hit the like and uh yeah 
subscribe <laughs> if you if you like what I do and you're like hey Vess I like it click it around click around check me out and you can um you know hit subscribe and become a pulse become one of my energy balls um keep me going with the content and uh you know getting to know you guys again guys uh, streams are 7 p.m eastern time on fridays every fridays so be sure to be present for that and again guys thank you for watching sharing telling a friend helping your friend and have an amazing rest of the day bye bye